What's up, painters? Today we're doing a sketchbook tour. Yay! Yay! I did so much good art in here. It's actually crazy. And yeah, they're all masterpieces. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't keep up this gig. I'm, there's, there's so much bad art in here. Like, it's astounding. There's so much bad art in here. And you get to look at it. So here we go. I hope you're still excited. But before we go, I want I just need you all to look at this sticker that my friend gave me. It's my favorite gift possibly of all time. They know me so well. Adelai, if you're watching this, I love you so much. But yeah, here we go. Ooh, title page. <laughs> this is my horrific attempt at doing Alex from Half-Life. I'm outing myself as a Half-Life fan. I love Half-Life. I love Half-Life so much. I love my little freaks and the little creatures. It's, it's a good- okay, no. <laughs> Stop. Stop, you're putting it off. So this one took me from May 25th, 2023 to April 21st. So almost a year, which yeah, not my best record, but I got it done. So there you go. Here's my first page where I was trying to be all cool and mysterious. Look at my dog. Look at my dog. Look at my dog. He's the best part of this page. Um, this is funny because I've never used yeah like that in a sentence ever in my goddamn life. So I was I was lying. I was lying to be cool. And for that, I'd like to apologize. Next one. <laughs> Some uh, poorly done vashes. Uh, I actually have him at the end of the sketchbook too because I thought it would be like a cool seeing how far you've come kind of thing. So I promise I've improved. These are, you can kind of tell <laughs> that I didn't really know how to draw people yet. And I just, I feel like this pose in particular is a little unfortunate, but it, it gets better guys, I promise. I actually do like this one. I hated, this was, of watercolor illustration, if you might be able to tell. But I hated it, so I ripped it up, and now they're little pieces in this abstract art gallery. I think it's fun. I think it's playful. I enjoy it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, if you might be able to tell from the caption, we had ducks in our lawn. I drew them. Here they are. I mean, for drawing straight from life, they're okay. <laughs> It's a cute page. Oh, oh, this one's just coming off. Uh, this is one of my OCs, actually. I haven't drawn them in really long. You want to see this one? Here he is. I kind of like. I really like this one, actually. I like both of these. I really love this use of mixed media. I really need to draw him again. His name's Abraham. He, <laughs> he's like the world's worst priest. He kills people. <laughs> Anyways. Doodle page. Nothing much to see here. There's study. This one's nice. Doodles. Buildings. Very nice. Some more buildings. This one even has an astronaut. That's cool. I don't know if I'm going too fast, <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, yeah, building. Dragons. My hands. My leg. If, you know, uh, if you ever wanted to see that, well, here you go. My arm and my leg. More of my feet. I, I hate these pages. I hate these pages. But there's nothing I can do about them, so enjoy them. Hopefully, maybe more than I can. These are okay. Beetles. This was when I first got my acrylic marker. Oh, wait. No, what am I talking about? This is when I first got my acrylic markers. But this is when I first really started trying to make full pieces with them. It's okay, but it doesn't really stand out to me as mine, if that makes sense. It just feels... It feels a little generic, I guess. 
some Wolfwood sketches. I was trying to figure out how the hell to draw them. More Wolfwood. Uh, this one's okay, but I love how the Punisher here uh, from the next page peeks out. I think that's really fun. This is kind of awkward. Oh, but this is probably with my favorites. As you might be able to tell, I am. <laughs> actually, no, I don't. I don't know why you think I'd like Trigun. I actually hate Trigun. I think it, I don't like it. I don't think it has uh, great characters and cool themes. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What of this show sucks? But yeah, Wolfwood, Punisher. I really like this page. I really like this illustration of Vash too. He's doing the John Arbu Ar uh, uh, Arbuckle dance. Fun! And I was like, okay, well, let's keep going with that theme. So I drew more people dancing. Ooh, some studies. Nothing much to write home about. More studies. These suck. These are. I like this one. These are some kind of questionable outfits, though. <sighs> if you're wondering if this is Donald Trump fan art, it is not. It just, unfortunately, um, in hindsight, looks eerily like him. And it haunts me every day. And of course, more bad art right next to him. So, that's nice. Ooh, but look at this. This redeems the previous page. I love these two pages. These are probably of my favorite. I keep hitting my tripod. I hope that's not messing with my audio. But yeah, I love, 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 love these pages. I like the colors on this one. I like, I don't know. I just, I just, I just fuck with this. I fuck with this. I had a bunch of these left over paint samples from when I was painting my room. Uh, so I decided, why throw them out? I can be a sustainable sustainable icon and cut them up and it was like the poor man's Pantone cards. Do you remember those? Where everyone would get the box of the Pantone cards and they would paint something on each color. This is like that, but budgeted <laughs> deeply. Yeah, uh... The turtle's a nice one. I don't really care for the rest. <laughs> okay. uh, this is a bunch of concept art. This was gonna be... I think I was gonna do this on chalk or maybe a pane of glass. It was... basically the idea was a bunch of stuff that can't be guaranteed to be permanent. Like, you just have to accept that it can and probably will be lost eventually. That's why there's like aspects of brains and people. Uh, I think eyes were part of the mind because you know as you age you lose those memories, you lose people in your life, uh, people in, in your life. Yeah, uh, I don't usually write this much but this was when I was still thinking about what post-secondary schools I was going to apply to, and a lot of them is part of your portfolio. They want planning pages like these, so I had to make it look like I was doing what they wanted. <laughs> yeah, I never- this project never came to fruition, which kind of sucks, because, uh, like I said, I was probably gonna do it in chalk, and it was gonna be like, that is a very... What's the word I'm trying to think of? Very impermanent medium, right? Like, all it takes is a bucket of water and it's gone. So, I was- it was- I guess you could- could you call that performance art? I don't think that's quite the right term. But anyhow, it was- yeah, I was gonna do it in chalk wait for it to rain and photograph it after that and that would be that would kind of connect the piece it was like accepting that you can't keep all of this you can't keep your mind or your memories or the people around you but yeah <laughs> this was in and this is concept <laughs> like somber expression fuck off 
Uh, this was another piece that was going to be like that. It was more like uh, the fragility of one's mental state. This sounds really pretentious in hindsight. But I had this pane of glass, and I was going to do this and like, paint this on it. And I think I was either going to like drop it from the sky and let it break, or I was going to paint this hammer, or smash it with a hammer, <laughs> to represent uh, just how easily... Because this, and this was the self purge so it was like, how easily my mental state can be disrupted? Again, it's another project that never came to fruition. I was just trying to get those planning pages down for my submissions, to be honest with you. Oh, this one's fun. I, uh, I had this tag from a pin I bought, and I thought it was cute, so I made this illustration look for it. It's an alright piece. More Trigun <laughs> fan art. I'll, I'll just let you read that by yourself and really take it in. What can I say? I love a good shit post. And then accompanying them is some nice seahorses. People on bicycles. I, I don't even know how to defend these pages. They're just bad studies. Well, they're not bad. They just look kind of weird. <laughs> the fuck is this? More studies. This one's really bad. This one's okay. I like the... Ooh, actually, I quite like the shading in the pants here. That's fun. Kind of Frankenstein two reference images together for that. <laughs> this, like... This slutty man pose that everyone and their mothers was doing, I did it too. And then I made him, I gave him this cool outfit. Isn't that fun? Oh no, my trinket. Get out. It's a Neko Atsume cat. Oh! Uh, I'll find that later. Rockstar played with my acrylic pens again. I had these Ikea dudes. I thought they were super cute, so I wanted to use them in my sketchbook, so... I drew this power drill. <laughs> and this poor idea of a construction site. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, this is another... I don't know if you can call it OC, because I never really fleshed them out. But I had this project, I keep talking about all these projects that I never pursue, but uh, here's more pages. <laughs> I, li I like this, <laughs> this one too. Uh, but basically, if you might have been able to gleam from this little text box here, I was trying to derive a lot of aspects from those clickbait horror videos on old YouTube because this entire project's idea, it was like a graphic novel in my head. It was about, like, wouldn't it be fucked up if the chainmail copy pastas were real and a demon did come after you? Yeah, so I was trying to design the chainmail demons, and as you might be able to tell, it wasn't- it didn't go <laughs> great. Uh, I'd really like to revisit this, but I still don't really have any proper ideas on how to do it better. I love the changing clickbait circles and arrows, though. I'd really like to keep that. I just think I could execute it better. Shoe study. These are pretty fun. Uh, these ones aren't as fun. I don't really care. I think the outline is a pretty neat idea, though. Like, this one's technically good, but it just... I feel like it's been wiped of all my personality. This is just me copying a photo. And that's not really what I want to do with my art. So I just don't really care for it. This one doesn't have much to write home about either. I mean, it's playful. It's playful with plant being the, <laughs> annihilating the sky. Oh, 
Uh, Ted Surge, he's my OC. He's actually the protagonist of that chainmail thing I was telling you about earlier. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, he's the protagonist. He was named after Ted the Caver, the what's considered the first creepypasta on the internet ever. And then Surge, like Victor Surge, creator of Slenderman. Uh, yeah, he's fun. I feel like his design could use some tweaking though, like he's a pretty unremarkable guy. <laughs> but yeah, I really gotta revisit these, dude. I'll, I'll do it eventually. Ooh! Okay. Uh, I don't think I've ever posted my L'Oreal fish drawing. But these were some of the concepts, because I really wanted to do the L'Oreal fish bottle use it in an art piece. I just didn't know how. I was initially thinking of this kind of playful, imaginative scene with a bunch of bath toys swimming around, but no matter how many times I tried it, I, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it. So I scrapped that concept. And then I turned to this kind of surrealist looking down into a bathtub, and it's just filled with all these fish bottles. And I really liked it, so I went ahead and painted this color scheme. Although I really love this pale pink of the tiles, too. Ultimately, this one just went out, though. Ooh, got some scrapbooking action going on. Ooh, oh my god, sorry, I've, I'm talking way more than I usually do, and it's destroying my vocal cords as we speak. But, uh, these ones... Oh. These ones were made out of scrap fabric, if you might be able to tell, <laughs> from a sewing project. And yeah, look at me being a sustainable king. You should all bow to me, you should all tell me how great and wonderful I am. Because I am doing more for this planet than anyone in the world, actually. I'm single-handedly stopping carbon emissions right now. So, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty great single-handedly the best picture in my entire sketchbook. Some studies featuring a <laughs> crappy Gideon the Ninth. More Gideon the Ninth. Uh, I, I don't like this piece. I don't like it at all. Some studies. More studies. I, I did this of my friend. more studies. This one's kind of hard to decipher. It was like a bunch of stuff on the table. Sporzoi image. I don't really like it. Actually, I changed my mind. This! This is my best page in the entire sketchbook. Nothing could be my three beautiful weed-smoking girlfriends. I'm back. Sorry, my phone ran out of storage, but I fixed it, and we can continue now. So here's my little Harrowhark fan art. Can you tell I like Gideon the Ninth? This one's, uh, this one's okay. I do like some of the angles on some of these skeletons. But yeah, this is definitely that awkward stage where I was still figuring out how to draw the human face. Some concepts. <laughs> some studies. Particularly of pathetic men. Ooh, I don't like these ones. <laughs> uh, but practice makes perfect, am I right, guys? Yeah, I. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> some more concepts. This was for my friend's Christmas gift of her golden retriever. And this was for my friend's birthday gift. This one's fun. This one I don't care for as much. More concepts. I was doing a lot of pieces around this time actually. More concepts. Okay, uh, all of this was from packaging 
of a fanzine that my friend got me. And it's one of my favorite gifts of all time. But I, uh, but I didn't want to let go of any of the packaging, so I repurposed it here. And I wonder if you can guess what the zine was about. Gundam! Gundam! I really, really, really like this page. This one greatly disappointed me. It ruined the whole flow, I hate it. Eels! And, oh god, what are they called? Um... It was mole something. I don't know, maybe I'll find a picture and put it up. Some studies... I'm okay with this one. Uh, this one, I couldn't care less about. One gate bridge... But it's... Wait, what, what am I saying? It is already red. What the hell? Alright. Um, it's pretty subpar. <laughs> More concepts. More concepts. Even more. This was, if you've seen my first video, this was where I was trying to figure out what I wanted the Ouroboros brain to look like. That probably sounds insane if you haven't seen that video, but but trust me, just, just go watch it. Give me some more views. Come on. Ooh, some portrait studies. I quite like these ones. I can dig this. Oh, this is my favorite though. I really like this one. I love the texture and his fur coat. I, I love the liveliness in the eyes. I don't know. I just really like it. Dragons. Ham study. This is a running gag for me. Another hand study. Oh, I did these ones in the library, so I started doing studies at the shelves. Pretty fun. Yeah, like, here's some more. These were on my dining table. Oh, these are really ugly. But just anything to get drawing, right? This scri this loose scribbled heron. Uh, technically speaking, this portrait is okay, but I just really hate it coming from me. It, like, I put it down, and I just I didn't feel any of myself in it. But this one. Oh boy, this is one I really like. I love layering pencil crayons like this and getting all these unconventional colors in the skin tone. This one's fine too. Let's see if this is where I started doing, trying to do some more, but I feel like these two, especially with the black, I feel like it's a bit unrefined. They don't live up to the standards of this one. But it was good to start playing around with it, right? This is one of my favorite pieces. I, uh, you can find this on my Instagram. Some... Uh, is it messenger pigeons? I think... Or is it carrier pigeons? I don't remember, but they're the extinct ones. These are some trinkets lying around my desk, and I quite like this page. There's this artist I follow. Oh, sorry. There's this artist I follow on Instagram, and she makes these amazing dinosaur and prehistoric animal. Pro not props. Mm. Models models uh and she posts these awesome immersive photos of them and this one really stood out to me so i decided to draw it oh it's your favorite more concepts <laughs> look at how complex this page is guys really soak it in more dragons more dragons these two are quite good Ooh. 
more dragons. And study, and another dragon. This one was to throw you off. Another dragon, failed study, the good study, and then some horses, why not? Another horse. Fun. Uh, some studies, not studies, sorry, concepts for my Art and Found Day piece. Testing out some colors, seeing how I wanted it to be. Doro Hetero fan art, Trilobite. Even though it's very simplistic, I actually really dig this one. I don't know, I just like the chunky line art of it. Some more Doro Hedero's uh, thumbnails. And then I started trying to do a new pose. I really like this one, but for some reason when I tried it on the full piece it just didn't work out. But, oh, I really like it. Some more trilobites and funny little stamps. <laughs> uh, I feel so bad this study is probably the worst one in here. And this model was so gorgeous and I do this to her like... Put me away, lock me away in jail. Some more studies. This one's this one's starting to grow on me, I guess. This one wasn't even like a proper Well, I guess she is a model if she's uh working in advertising for companies, but uh she wasn't like a photo I found on Pinterest. She was part of an ad for Torrid and I don't know, I just figured, what the hell, so I drew her anyways. Some weird little cowboys. Some more concepts. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, she looks a bit rough. I tried it again and I failed again. And then this little. Hold on. <laughs> it's him. Oh. This is painful. This pains me to look at. I hope you guys realize I, I can draw better than this. I swear. I swear. But yeah, some shell fan art. Not great, but it's here. And then my beloved turrets. I love the Franken turret. It's my favorite little beast of all time. These ones are nice. I like the. I like how I use two different colors to kind of differentiate the shadows. I thought that was fun. This is a really fun piece. I really liked this, but I think I partially ruined it by coloring in the background too. So if you find this piece on my Instagram, you'll see that I actually went in and edited white again <laughs> to make it look better. An envelope I glued in with some little doodles of creatures. <laughs> you can tell this is the end of my sketchbook and that I just really wanted to get stuff done because it just started getting so half-assed. <laughs> Like, I, I didn't want to work in this sketchbook anymore. I was done. <laughs> I like this one. I kind of experimented with my style here. And I think it's- I think she's super cute. Uh, this one's a lot like that other one. Uh, like this one for me. That it just really doesn't feel like the kind of style I want to have. I like this one, though. And then my final page! And of course, who else other than Bash the Stampede? See, see guys? See guys, I did improve. I did improve. Look at that. What? So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're not annoyed by my rambling about my silly, goofy little bad art. 
Um, I guess the main takeaway, if you want to take away a lesson from this, is, you know, I made bad art and I'm still alive, so you should too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much again, and that's all for now. Now get out there and make some art. Bye.